Welcome back, and in this session, we're going to look at the Pro Tools Audio Suite function and then how you do it in Studio One. So, Audio Suite is the ability to add offline or basically baked in effects to a piece of audio. So, for example, I could come to these snares here and then I go to Audio Suite and I'm going to reverb, I'm going to Abbey Road Plates Mono because it's a mono audio clip there. And then I'm going to choose the snare short. Then I'm going to go for 50%. I would then audition it, which is what you do in Pro Tools. And I can hear that. And when I like what I've got, I go render. And it renders that. Now what it does is you'll see it's now got a new name on it as well. It's got Snare Abbey Road plates. And it's got a, a completely new name. So it delineates between that and the original that it was. If I just zoom back out again for a second. Uh, and I command Z. And you can see there that it's now gone back to the original name. And I go to redo every plate's mono. And it's got that new name. And you can see there's new tails and stuff on it as well. That also means now, if we talked about clips before, that the clip that it's created it from, that snare two, is there. So I could also drag that back in if I wanted to, if I wanted to recover that. So that's how you do Audio Suite in Pro Tools. And the other thing you can do in Pro Tools as well is if I, if I process multiple clips, it would create multiple clip duplications so I could go through and edit each clip separately. So I want to do the same thing here now in Studio One. That's slightly different. What we would do is we'd choose our event rather than our clip. We'd go I and you'll see here there's one called Enable Event FX. Now what we can do is we can then browse. I'll we'll go Plates. There's every road Plates Mono. I'm going to bring that in. So what I can do is I can put in the insert point there first and I can audition it. And again, we'll put that on 50%. So I get what I like. Now let's just move that to the side for a second. Now if I go to here instead, so that's actually an insert on the channels. That's a channel effect. If I go here instead and go enable the event effects, that's like Audio Suite in Pro Tools. And we pick that up and we drag it into here now. And we'll remove it from there and we can then render that. Now what we can also do as well is we can choose tails if we want. So we could say, okay, I want uh, 1.8 seconds of tails. Then we render it and that's now created the new event there, as you can see, and it's got a tail on it too. Now there's a similar process in Pro Tools as well. If you come into your preferences in Pro Tools and you come to the processing, you can choose the length of handles when something has had Audio Suite applied to it, so that it's two seconds at the moment. Now the other thing within Studio One is you can restore that and you can bring it back from the dead and render it again. So the nice thing is you can restore it, you can make some changes, and then render it again. Now if we come into the pool, if you remember in an earlier session I talked about that the pool is showing you all the audio, so now that snare that we've created, you can see it there, it's now in the pool and other versions of the snare as well because that's a different piece of audio than that piece of audio there. So if we go to our audio options here, and we go to selecting pull, there's that snare. Whereas we go to this one, and audio and selecting pull, you'll see it's that snare we've just created. So that's Audio Suite to EventFX from Pro Tools to Studio One. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next session. Mm -hmm.